Doctor, I bring in all the wishes and greetings to you for uh, scoring a great rank and an amazing rank and a wonderful performance in the field of DM cardiology and uh, rank number 188, NEAT SS yes. session, NEAT SS session, NEAT SS 2021. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Congra congratulations to you. And uh, can we know about your uh, medical career and background so far? I mean, uh, from where you graduated, from where you're coming from and uh, I mean, where you did your uh, post-graduation and why we have special interest for you in cardiology, who gave you that motivation and uh, and from there how you travel. Can we have something on? Those yes, sir. Sir, uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, God, my parents and my sister for all the support they have given me and teachers also, sir. Especially Speed Institute for all the support they have given all through this time. Uh, sir, I am uh, from Chennai, sir. Uh, I did my MBBS from uh, Kilpak Medical College and uh, MD from uh, Bangalore Medical College, sir, Bangalore. And uh, I passed out in 2019. So I worked, I'm, I was working as an SR here in a private medical college in Chennai. And then uh, in 2000, like last year, NEET, uh, I couldn't do well. Uh, like uh, it was not, it was not up to the expectation of mine. So then I decided I have to join SPEED because uh, that was an automatic choice for me because in my uh, NEET PG also I had to, I had, I was a student of SPEED Institute. So I knew what I had to do for this time and I joined NEET uh, SPEED Institute and uh, I gave my best efforts uh, and uh, I'm here and that's it. Very, very, very nice doctor because I did my undergraduation from KMC from the same college. You. Yes, sir. I know that, sir. I know. You were a big inspiration uh, for me. And I have seen you in the PG coaching classes also. So, you have been a great inspiration for me, sir, all through these days. Thank you, doctor. And uh, I was actually wishing one day I would like to talk to you. And uh, it has happened. I'm very happy for that, sir. Great, doctor. Pleasure is mine. Great alma mater and uh, it's a great institution, KMC as such. And, yes, sir. Uh, it is like a, a second home. And, yes. Uh, I can say it's a first home and probably where I live. Yes, sir. Yeah, that is a place which uh, if, if whatever I am today and whatever you are today. Yes, yes. It is it's only because of uh, the great institution. Yes, where, stepping stone for everything, sir. Whenever you, whenever you see a, uh, any group, any WhatsApp group, Telegram group, the group members of the batch, I mean, now the, the group members, you will have a batch uh, group, we'll ha I'll have a batch, everybody has a batch group uh, for MBBS. Yes. The, the batch which uh, are in school or in post-graduation, those are not as batches. The batches are which are in MBBS and yes, that, yes, that, yes, and that acts today as like a family members and that batch. So, I mean, uh, it's great and it's a great um, college. Uh, you are I belong to 2009 batch, sir. Great. And uh, I belong to 95 I've joined and I, and I came out in 2000. So, I was, we, are, we our batch is called Cosmic 95 batch. And, uh, and so, okay. <laughs> so, 2009. And probably we would have not known because we would have known up to batches from two to, up to 2005 because from the five years down the line we would have known and after that you have been four years there. Yeah. Great, great place. Okay, doctor. Now we will we'll come to your, <laughs> your uh, story of uh, getting on to uh, cardiology now. Now, now from postgraduate days and then how, how you started? I mean, you, you want to do cardiology before uh, PG or during PG? You went to special posting or something like that. Something would happen and to come into your mind that there is a cardiologist in me. That feeling will come one day. I mean, when it came? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, actually, honestly speaking, it was during my internship days. Sir. So, in, in during internship, uh, when we used to manage, uh, when my PGs used to manage a case of cardiac illness and uh, acute pulmonary edema or something like that, I used to be thrilled. It uh, somehow, once the patient gets cured, and once the patient is relieved of his symptoms, I felt a deep relief. It was, I, I used to feel happy. I used to be satisfied with what is being done to the patient. 
so from that and then during my pg days i had uh, though i liked all the specialities i had some some uh, liking towards cardiology more and especially i was uh, we were posted in jayadeva also sir during my uh, pg days so that also increased my uh, passion towards cardiology and uh, once i finished pg also uh, while working i felt um, though everyone tells cardiology is saturated there are so many cardiologists everything i still feel there are uh, so many places without a cardiologist and uh, to get an opinion it was very quite difficult patients used to wait long time and long hours and uh, also so i felt definitely uh, i have to do since i knew i ha- i can do it i thought i should do it sir and so i started my preparation uh, in 2020 but due, because of the covid pandemic everything i couldn't make it up that time then i thought i have to definitely join speed this time so i joined speed in 2020 november sir and uh, since then uh, i couldn't attend uh, the regular online classes but uh, i followed all the videos of dr azim sir and um, honestly speaking those videos are amazing and that is much more than enough sir i now after finishing the exam i feel that it is most much more enough and yeah. i have followed uh, all the uh, all, whatever instructions have been given from speed whatever plan you have given us also like uh, you 3 months before the exam and 1 month before the exam and 5 days before the exam one day before the exam <laughs> everything has been it was like uh, uh, that has to be followed it was like uh, a saying from god so you have to do it you have to do it then only you will pass it's like that sir so i tried my best i put in, i have put my best efforts whatever was possible by me with the available time and the circumstances so with speed in the background with all the videos and uh, uh, i had made notes of all the videos i have some 8 to 9 notebooks of that as you have told revision three revisions four revisions you have to live in cardiology everything uh, i try to follow sir and uh, uh, it was difficult path but at the end now i feel happy i feel okay uh, i never expected this much i thought maybe i'll get around 500 or something but uh, this was uh, a surprise to me this rank uh, thanks to you sir and one more thing i wanted to mention is um i actually during the exam um it was a lengthy paper quite a lengthy paper each question uh, was very quite lengthy sir and only that time i realized you had told once that somehow you have to attend at least 95% of the questions to get a rank so that was behind my mind every time so somehow i did it fast and i was able to complete all, all the questions if that you had not told that definitely i would have not done it sir thanks that thanks for that sir great and uh, mean, i mean i i'm really happy that uh, you took those uh, videos and suggestions uh, seriously and you have followed and that's a great honor for me and because uh, <laughs> because we can say but people will follow or not will not know only when we talk directly we will know so actually uh, before the exams uh, 10 days and all i used to wait vinayak sir will tell something or what will i'll be waiting to get some more extra motivation sir, actually because that is the time when you feel so low i was like why to do this why to go through so much stress and all but once your video comes up i'll be like okay so few more days i'll just push it on i'll be done <laughs> that's it there, there is one reason for that because i have also undergone all this what you have undergone so it is easy to simulate so what the mindset will be there one month before 10 days before what people will think and day before what they can think so what we felt the same feeling they will have so how to get over that so and, uh, and the other greatest advantage and they had as an experience in conducting uh, the classes previously so that uh, we could um, what to do is we never kept this uh, app based class like an app based class when the when the student is there he will never get an app based he will get a real feeling that they are with teachers everybody is with them so that that kind of a closeness we were able to uh, give that experience to the students 
Uh, because we were basically an offline trainers. We, we yes, that offline. is why, sir. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. You, I remember, sir. You used to come to each row during the ah. PG preparation. You used to interact with us, ask us if there is any lack in anything, how, what more you need, how much you are able to understand everything. It was all actually excellent, sir. Speed is doing an excellent thing, and for me, speed has been <laughs> for PG, for me, tests, everything. Great doctor, great interacting with you. Now, uh, the message from you, what is the message that you want to give to aspirants and students who are aspiring for DM cardiology, you can say. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I would like to tell them that um, um, first thing is they have to have the commitment to do the hard work that is required, sir. It doesn't come that easy. So they have to give their full efforts, 100%, whatever is possible by them that has to be given. There is no looking back and telling, I have not done that much. So the next thing is, if they need a guidance, it is only speed. So speed has much more than what is required. Uh, Dr. Azim sir's video for cardiology is the best I can tell, sir. Um, though I have not seen other, other classes videos and all, other courses video, but I can tell for cardiology sir's video is excellent. And... Um, uh, the way he takes us, makes us understand the concepts, especially for this exam, it was more of conceptual based actually. So whatever he taught the concepts, it actually helped a lot in answering the questions. He makes sure we understand the concepts and, and our part we have to do. We have to make notes of it and we have to get through. So actually speaking, it's an easy ride. Once you follow speed wholeheartedly, uh, follow your words, and what has to be done, your, you do your part well, definitely we'll make it through, sir. I, it's from, for, if that's the formula for me. <laughs> for my level of uh, commitment and uh, uh, hard work that I do, speed is it's a win-win situation for me, sir. Great. Doctor, uh, time to thank. And whoever you want to thank. And this video will make sure that whomever you thank will make sure it reaches them. And and whomever you want to thank, you take your time and you can thank them. Yes, sir. So first of all, I would like to thank my mother, sir, for being a, a great support, my father and my sister too. And um, they have been, whatever I'm here, uh, today is because of them. My teachers, uh, my um, MD day professors and um, Professor Nagrat, sir, in IMD medicine, Professor Ravi, uh, sir, medicine. Uh, they are the HODs of medicine, sir. And um, that's it, sir. Like uh, uh, Speed Institute, you, sir, especially you have been a great inspiration. And Dr. Kartikeyan, sir, for general medicine. He has also been of great inspiration and help, sir. For yeah. medicine, I have followed his videos. Excellent. Excellent, doctor. And uh, we're coming to the conclusion. I wish you all the best and all the success and uh, as the team, as a team as a whole and the Speed Institute as a whole. Speed Institute as a whole, it means faculties plus all the students who have graduated and have gone out of uh, this institution runs almost close to more than 3.5 lakhs and on behalf of everybody and behalf of everybody, we bring in all the best wishes to you for a great career ahead in DM Cardiology. And, uh, and as a great cardiologist in years to come and uh, it's question of three years and after that you are a consultant. And as a cardiologist, your contribution for your speciality of cardiology and also for the people who are going to come under your service and the care they're going to give to them. And it's going to be in thousands or lakhs or millions and for another 40-50 years. And, and you're going to give an amazing service to them and a great service to them, life-saving service to them. For all that, we wish you all the best and all the success and uh, advance congratulations and have a, have a great career ahead, great career, wonderful career and you have reached what you want to reach and God has given you everything that you wanted today and uh, may be thankful to him and keep going with the same spirit that you had and keep inspiring people and we are inspired by you. We are inspired by your uh, success and uh, I made a point and, and I took a time to congratulate each and everyone I can individually. I'm doing it right now and keep going best wishes and definitely and you will 
to a very successful career and you're always already you're successful and you will just add more success to that <laughs> best wishes to you